Welcome, folks, to downtown Atlanta and Mercedes-Benz Stadium, site of this year's Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl and, of course, part of the college football playoff. We are through the opening round of this year's playoff, and now the pressure is mounting in the quarterfinals. A matchup between one side that's had time to rest and recover and another team that's battle-tested already off one playoff victory. As we'll see the number 12 seed in this playoff, the Temple Owls take on the number four seed in the playoff, the Miami Hurricanes. Green Day Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Street, And here we go, a college football playoff quarterfinal game. Only one team here can keep their championship dreams alive. Well, he thought about coming out, but instead takes a knee in the big football to the 25-yard line. The Hurricanes offense comes on the field first day. Of course, this game in Atlanta, I think it's the mecca of college football. And over the years here in the Beach Bowl, we've seen underdog teams like UCF and Houston really come in here and make their own piece of history. And Chris, think about it. The Beach Bowl, kind of like the Cotton Bowl, has been a major winner in this playoff expansion. They have put on a great game, and they've already had some memorable moments. Who could forget in 2022, the field goal in the game that potentially wins it for Ohio State was kicked in 2022 and wide left and hits the ground in a year of 2023. Send the back in motion. Dropping back. It's Ward. And just throws it away there. Safe move. And nobody open. So on the opening drive, they're backed up here now. Third and nine. Dropping back. You're going to throw for first down. Running back grabs it on the screen. Takes loose at the 40. We're finally able to stop him, but the defense is fooled a bit on that screen play. It's a solid game for first down. The Cage winding up here on first and ten. On the run, it's Martinez. Powers through. Breaks loose at the 40. And he stopped him, but not before. An explosive play. Moves the ball all the way to the 32. And the Cage picked up enough yards to get a fresh set of downs. The shotgun run call goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, this is what I love to see from a defense is the linebackers are scraping doing their job, but you need help from the secondary. And when you have aggressive tackers on the back end, you got a great defense. This time, the secondary makes the difference. And they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. You see, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. And it's really solid defense on that play. Can't find anybody on third down. Throws it away. And now fourth down coming up. So they're short on fourth down. And the coach decides to trot out the field goal team. It's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. He's going to return it from near the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. So the Temple Owls offense takes the field. Our first chance to see them today. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players just a few guys, Kirk. But what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. Play action here on first down. The pass rush closing in. And the sophomores got him for a sack. Wow, what a rough way to start this football game for these guys. Already kind of in a hole inside their own 20. In the first play, they give up a sack, and now they're going in the wrong direction, getting a little closer to their own goal line. And they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down marker. 
early on in a football game, the offense always wants to try to develop just a nice rhythm to their offense. That time, just a simple screen to the running back, and they build some confidence on this. First. He'll take a deep shot here. Oh, and he almost picked it off. Nearly a turnover here on the opening drive. It's going to bring up fourth down. The Owls will line up to put it away. Looking to flip the field here. And the returner decides to signal fair catch. And here comes the Miami offense back out on the field. They got points on the board last time thanks to a long-range field goal. Let's it go quickly. And it's incomplete. That's a risky throw on first down. Lucky to avoid the interception there. Now it's second down here. Hand off to the single back. And they'll stop him after a short game. Challenging spot for the offense. It's third down and long from the 45. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Going for a big play downfield. And it's incomplete. They let it fly on third down, but now it comes up fourth. The Hurricanes will line up to kick it away. It's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. Oh, it landed at the eight-yard line, but a lucky bounce into the end zone for a touchback. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Trying to create outside the pocket now. And he pulls in the catch. They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. So quickly up to the 35-yard line for first down. They'll run it from the gun. Uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. That back just had nowhere to go. You've got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that one. Second down play coming up for this offense. Looking to throw. It's Adams. It's a quick grab. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. Quarterback looks down to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the track route and gets some positive yards. Intercepted, picked off by the defense. I'm going to give the defense coordinator a tip of the cap here. They went with dime coverage with six defense back, which gives them a lot more speed on the field. And with those defensive backs, they're able to play better in space. They recognize the ball, step in front of it for a nice interception. Second down after that run on the previous play. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. Defense makes the tackle as the final seconds of this first quarter run out. Kirk as we take a break for the quarter here, it's Miami in front. And the first quarter is in the books, but is a huge opportunity for both these programs to get a step closer to a national championship. We begin the quarter with a crucial play, often setting up for this third down. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up to throw. There's no one to throw to there on third down. And now it's a fourth down coming up. So they'll send out the field goal unit to give it a shot here from very long distance. And it's no good. Who missed it? The lead remains three after that miss. The Temple offense back on the field now. We'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. Offense moving to a bunch formation. A quick throw out left, complete. They get him down, but not before he gets to the plus 38. First down and 10 now. To throw, it's Adams. Pressure is coming. And he cannot escape the defense with a sack. That's a really nice job of bouncing back by this defense after giving up that big gain. This time they get the pressure and bring that quarterback down. Throws it to the right. And he's got it. 
Defense wraps him up after the catch, but he's just short of the first down. So now from the 29, it's third down and short. Let's see what the play call is going to be here. Already in field goal range, but of course, thinking touchdown. Tackle to the 28, this offense threatening now. Another first down. Well, that's mono and mono right there. Offensive line knowing exactly their assignment, getting a hat on a hat, and that back to just exactly where he needed to go to extend this drive. That's a first down. Makes one tackle, gets brought down, but picks up some decent yardage. I just love watching his back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. Gonna run it. It's Washington. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Tackled after a three-yard game, so it sets up a third and seven. Here we go, third down, close to the goal line. They can still get a first down without scoring. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Oh, a sack! The senior on this defense making a big play. So on fourth down now, out comes the field goal unit. And the field goal is good. And we're all tied up now. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. And he'll lead the kickoff right there. He'll start with the 25. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. The last drive was a little demoralizing. They stalled and then missed a field goal. Takes the handoff on the counter play. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. He went backwards on first down, so second and long for the 24. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Well, they don't make the completion here. The timing seemed to be off between a quarterback and receiver. But, man, this defensive coordinator, he may want to consider getting more pressure on this quarterback by changing some things up. He's got a lot of time back there to throw the ball. And eventually, that's going to cost you. Here's a screen pass to the running back. Defense makes the stop. The screen pass doesn't produce a first down. And now it's fourth down. The Hurricanes will send the punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. But he's got some space here. And the coverage team gets the returner to the ground. The Owls offense is back out on the field now. They settled for three last time. Let's see what they can come up with this drive. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Quick throw to the left side. It's complete. What a grab near the sideline. It's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. How aggressive will they be on this first down play? Looking to throw. It's Adams. Quarterback leaves the pocket on the move now. Receiver makes the grab. They bring down to the 25. They're moving closer and closer to the red zone. Chris, that's another positive game for this offense, and this quarterback continues to show why he's had such a great year this year. When he has time to throw, he gets his feet set. He's as accurate as any quarterback in the country. Got space, looking to score. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Temple. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. When they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. And they get set now to try the PAT. Connects on the PAT, so it's 10-3. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. He thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback, and they'll start at the 25. And the Miami offense is back on the field. If they want to cut into this lead before halftime, they have to work quickly now. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. 
pass is incomplete. The defense affecting the quarterback with pressure there. So after the incompletion, it's second down. And he'll set up to throw. It's a quick grab. And the timeout is called important stage late here in the second quarter. That completion sets up an important third down play. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. But they don't connect. It's incomplete. And it brings up fourth down. The Canes bring their punt team onto the field. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. Here comes the Temple offense out there. Trying to build on this lead before halftime. They got off to a slow start, but they've gotten it going here in the second quarter. Looking to throw it on first down. Snags with the throw. They stop him, but it's a first down. They bring him down with the freshman quarterback showing off the arm strength. Completion good for first down yardage for this offense. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. to throw it's Adams the pocket breaking down gets the ball off as he's hit but it's incomplete man you gotta love this if you're defense coordinator it's all about affecting the quarterback and getting pressure on him this time they got to him and forced that incompletion he's got it for a big game they bring him down but a big chunk of yardage on the play and the Owls hustle to the line to run the hurry up from shotgun, here's an inside give. And a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Look to throw it here on second down. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. Now it's third and short from the 24. One of those line of scrimmage battles that could help decide this game. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Let's it fly out of the wide out. And it's complete. What a grab by the receiver right near the sideline. Howells will line up here on first down and goal. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. He's got it right near the end zone. Tackle down at the three after the catch. Defense up against it now. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Oh, he can't hang on. What an opportunity to score there. Instead, incomplete and third down. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. They'll try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. And the play goes nowhere. Picked up about a yard, but it'll be fourth down. So a timeout is called to talk strategy. Maybe time for one or two more plays before halftime. So on fourth down, they won't go for it. Out comes the field goal unit trying to add three points before halftime. And that kick right down the middle. Can't hit it any better than that. And that will extend the lead even further. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. This is a squib kick right to one of the blockers on the return team. And the coverage team able to bring him down. One more play before they head to the locker room. Defense not pressing this time. On first and ten, looking to throw. And the pass ball is incomplete. No time left on the first half clock. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks, Chris. The magnitude and intensity of these playoff matchups is always something special to be a part of. The Canes will kick us deep to begin the second half. And he's going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. The Temple offense back on the field now. 
Already a two-possession lead here. Let's see if they continue to call it aggressively. And he's sacked. He'll be brought down right at the five-yard line. Well, let's face it. They, they dug themselves a hole in the first half. But I'll tell you what. They're coming out with a new look and a new energy here to start the second half. Scanning the field. It's Adams. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. Breaks loose at the 15. These are the kind of plays that keep defensive coordinators up at night. You spend so much time putting your plan together to stop the pass, and then nobody accounts for the quarterback on a run. Out of the gun now on third down. Incomplete and nearly picked off. They waste an opportunity for a much-needed takeaway, but it does set up fourth down. The Owls will send their punt team onto the field. We're going to kick it away for the second time. And this one will be fair caught. And here comes the Miami offense back out onto the field. They're finally looking to click. This has been a struggle for both offenses so far. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. He stopped, but he gets a first down. Look, I realize in any play call if it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. That's an explosive gain. They've got him, but the game all the way to the 28. Still searching for their first touchdown of the game, but on the move now. It's first and 10. Movement here from the tight end. He'll hand it off. The ball is loose. Defense recovers the fumble. Big takeaway. How about this defense flying in there trying to get their hat on the ball? They do, and they're able to pounce on it for a big turnout. The Owls offense is back out on the field now. They were forced to punt it last time. Now they're looking to respond and add to this lead. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. And looking for a big play here. The catch is made for a huge pickup. That's a huge game. Stop finally made it a 43. The Owls have first and 10 here. Testing the right side here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Things just appear to be a bit out of sync from the get-go now. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. Bringing pressure. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. And he'll drop back here on third down. They've got him. Defense comes up with a sack. Well, that's another big sack for this defense. They've come up with so many sacks. It's a great way to get back into this football game. Now give the quarterback credit. He's played tough through that so far. But one mistake could potentially be a game-changing play. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. They got in plus territory last time, but the drive ended on a fumble. They got to shake that off immediately. And looking to throw now on first down. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. Brought down at the 18, and suddenly this offense is in the red zone. After that huge play, this offense is now in scoring position. They moved into the red zone quickly. Well, Chris, you wonder what the next play will be for this offensive coordinator. Anytime you hit a big play like that, you get into the red zone. There's a tendency to want to go after the jugular. Use that momentum to your advantage. Let's see what they call right here. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Bulldozing his way through those tackles. Touchdown, Hurricanes. 
There was no stopping him. Kirk, we knew the tackling was going to be a key for this defense in the red zone. They did not get the job done that time. Well, you could just tell that runner was not going to go down with a full head of steam that close to the end zone. No tackler in the way could stop them. PAT up and good to get a little bit closer. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. That one bounces through the end zone, so it'll start at the 25. Here comes the Temple offense out there. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Only a small game. Now looking at second and nine. The defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense in that play. It's incomplete. He took a hit as he threw the football, and it brings up a third down. The cut of the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Scanning the field, it's Adams. Incomplete. He was hit as he threw the football there on third down. The Owls will bring their punt team on the field. Back out to punt for the fourth time today. And the fair catch, signal four and take it. And the Miami offense is back on the field. They punched it in the last possession. Can they do it again, or will this defense make some adjustments to get a stop? They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Runs right over the defender. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. Inside the 20. Touchdown, Canes. And it will claim the second half lead. Chris, how dangerous is this offense? Well, of course, you know about the receivers and the vertical shots, but here's an example. You give the ball to the running back out in space, it takes it all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. And the extra point was up and good. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Kick bounces out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. First down here for this offense. To start the drive with a quick throw to the right side. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Inside deal now from the shotgun. Ball carrier brought down what is the final play of this third quarter. Kirk, as we take a break for the quarter here, it's Miami in front, sitting in a pretty good spot as we wrap up the third quarter, trying to keep those national championship hopes alive. Let's take a quick look at the game stats while we have a chance. Here we go. First play of the quarter. Offense setting up for a second down play. Again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. He's brought down quickly. A short gain gets them a few yards closer to the marker. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down decision? And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. This offense picks up the first down. They tackle it with a 44. The Owls are on the move here. The tight end drag route is the perfect option for an offense. Looking to scheme that position open for some yardage. Perfect execution here for a first down. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Chris, overall, it's been a tough day for this offense, but especially for this running back, just not able to find any kind of traction at all. And it's made this offense somewhat one-dimensional and a large reason for trailing in the fourth quarter. Moving out of the pocket. And left with no option, just has to throw it away. Man, the defense took everything away from him. What do you expect him to do? He can't force the ball into traffic and potentially throw the interception. Does a good job of getting out of the pocket, away from the pressure, and just throw the ball away. See what happens on this next down. Caught over the middle. It's Smith. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. Really nice job here by the quarterback. He sells it looking downfield, knowing he wants to hit his run back on the angle route. Effective play to move these chains. And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one matchups. The defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. 
but here's a great example. The defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Trying to convert again on the third down. It's third and two. Can he get there on the ground? And he'll be smarter right at the line for no gain. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Down one possession in the fourth quarter, and the offense is going to try to convert here on fourth down. To the air, it's Adams. He's got it, and no for a first down. Tackle, but first down. Just great execution here on this fourth down to keep this drive alive. And what I love is the accuracy from the quarterback and a good job by the receiver knowing where that route needed to be to be able to catch the ball and pick up the first down. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. The long drive continues. The offense pushing the ball down the field. Play action fake, looking to throw. He's running out of time here. It's incomplete. That was caused by the defensive pressure. And now it brings up third down. Chris, this offensive coordinator is going to have to adjust. We've seen hits and sacks and pressure on this quarterback all game long. They've got to find a solution to create more time for the quarterback to be able to throw the football or maybe completely overhaul and change what they're doing on offense. Now a chance to take the lead with a touchdown here. It's first and goal. And we've reached now the two-minute warning. Sets up as a dramatic finish as this offense tries to grab the lead late here. And he drops back in the gun. Touchdown, Owls. And they claim the lead here in the final quarter. And Chris, with the game on the line, the offense delivers. Good job up front. The quarterback makes a great throw, and they get the go-ahead score here late in the game to go up two. The big decision now for the head coach, the extra point, or do you go for two to make it a four-point game? And they tack on the extra point. Now they get set to kick it away. Bringing it out, it's Joseph. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. Here comes the Miami offense back out onto the field. It was a one-play touchdown drive through the air last time. The defense makes some adjustments. First play of the drive, they come out throwing. Grab down the middle. It's Martinez. Really solid first down gain. He's just short of the marker, so maybe a chance here to take a downfield shot. Chris, I love to see this. Nothing open downfield, so he does the right thing by checking it down to his back, who's dangerous in the open field, picks up some really good yards, but that clock is still a big factor here. Less than a yard to go as they cover the line on second down. Looking to pass, it's Ward. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. That'll pick up a first down out of the 37. He'll hurry to the line here with the clock running. First down, looking to throw the ball. Fires it to the wideout. And he can't quite hold on to it. That would have sealed this game. It's second down now. Defense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Oh, and he dropped it. Might have heard some footsteps there over the middle. That brings up third down. At this point in the game, obvious situation. You're going to throw the football. I like the call by the defensive coordinator. He went with dime. Six defensive backs get him as much speed on the field as you can. You may have confused the quarterback there a little bit and led to that incompletion. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. Well, he just threw it away here, Chris, and it's not the worst decision. You wish he'd find a guy open to give him a chance for this offense to convert, but at least they have some room now to work if they want to bring the punter out. Trying for a fourth down completion. Looking for the wide out. Finds his man, has the first down. Breaks into the clear, it's a sprint. Touchdown, Miami. And they take the lead in the fourth quarter. 
Well, Chris, we've won so many playoff games, and we just hope for a competitive game. That's exactly what we have here. A go-ahead score with less than two minutes to go. Now it'll come down to can their defense hold up and secure the victory. Automatic on the PAT. Being set to kick the ball off now. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. The offense will start at the 25. Temple offense back on the field now. It comes down to this. They need a touchdown. They've got some time to work with. How aggressive will they be? With the catch, it's Smith. Man, give the defense a lot of credit. You're taking away the elite receiver. That primary target forces the quarterback to find a second or third option. He gets positive yards. But anytime you can take away the big play late in the game, it's going to help you be able to secure a victory. Incomplete, but a late flag comes in. A lot of content. Defensive P.I. cost him 15 yards and gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Offense comes out needing a score in this one possession game. Dropping back. It's Adams. He's escaping the pocket now. He's going to pull it down and run. He's found some room to the 45. And he runs out of bounds after a good scramble that'll pick up the first down yardage and stop the clock here. And the quarterback dropping back. Defense is coming after him. Choosing to just throw the ball away that time. Second down play now coming up. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. He's moving out of the pocket now. Hit as he releases it, and the pass falls incomplete. Now that's going to bring up a critical third down here as we're late into this football game in a drive where they need points. This quarterback's got to take control of this huddle, make sure everybody's on the same page. You have multiple plays that you could go to, whether it's a run or a pass. They've got to come up with a first down. Tackle made after a big game. Timeout taken by the offense now. 23 seconds on the clock. And the Owls will line up on first and 10. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Oh, look out, the football is free. Now the defense has got it going the other way. Oh, and he's free down the left side. Can they run him down? The 10. Touchdown for the U. The defense adds six points. That is any defender's dream. Comes up with a fumble, takes it back to the house. I can't believe the speed that this guy has to be able to score. I thought maybe pick it up, maybe throw a few yards, but instead he took it all the way to the end zone. And he knocks through the PAT. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. They were turning from inside the 10-yard line. Back up at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. Offense out for the first play of the drive, beginning at the 22. On first and 10 here, looking to throw the ball. Now in the final couple minutes, here's a deep shot. And it's incomplete with just one second remaining on the clock. Well, they don't connect here, but this is what you have to do. It's late in the game. You need points. You're behind. You got to take some shots. He's looking deep here. Oh, and he dropped it. And that is a fitting end today for this offense. In these playoff games, it's win or go home. So one side can continue to dream about the national championship. The other side, suddenly, Kirk, their season is over. But it's been a good ride. Yeah, and I think that's the thing. It, you know, it's easy to focus on the team that advances. And they, they should be happy, obviously. They had a great year. They're going to continue to go on. But the team that comes up a little bit short, they, you know, you can see the emotion down on the field right now. They put so much into this year. Hopefully, they'll be able to learn from this and come back even stronger next year. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler. And this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.